All right, guys, I'm going to walk through what the what the numbers are on a patient monitor. Again, I'm at a sim lab today in um, Rockford, Illinois. Uh, thank you so much to John Russell with Skills on Point for letting me use this amazing equipment. Here's an example of a patient monitor. Now, again, this is sim lab. This is not an actual person. Um, so let's walk through what all these numbers are. Okay, so we've got the top in the green. That is their five lead continuous cardiac monitoring. Obviously, this is beautiful, perfect, normal sinus rhythm with a heart rate of 74. Okay, so that's what that top number is. It's almost always the default set to be at the top and in green. You can change these colors, but I would not. <laughs> and then this next line here is their arterial line. Okay, so an artery or uh, the often in their wrist, their artery continuously monitoring blood pressure. So that's the arterial waveform, which if you're in ICU, you're going to have to learn how to interpret that as well. Um, and then this is their blood pressure and their mean arterial pressure. Then the blue, oh, wait, hold on, back up. If the patient, let's say though that your patient doesn't have an arterial line, not all ICU patients will have an arterial line. You can still get your regular, it'll say NIBP, in white usually, non-invasive blood pressure is what that means, meaning it's just the cuff on their arm. Arterial line is invasive because it's going into an artery, okay? So that would still show up on your monitor in white, probably lower, depending upon what other monitoring things are there, but it might be in the lower right-hand corner. Just don't have it on this one right now. All right, back to this. Now we have then 12 in blue is our respiratory rate. Now, this I kind of take with a grain of salt. Um, it's not always the most accurate. If you need a good respiratory rate, highly recommend just taking it yourself because a lot can make this inaccurate. This has end tidal CO2. Not every patient is going to have that monitoring, but if you did, that's what it would look like and typically in yellow. Then we have our SpO2, our oxygen saturation typically on pulse ox on their finger. You also have heart rate down here, but if you need a heart rate, always go off of the um, telemetry, okay? Um, this also has continuous temperature monitoring. Oh, and I'm sorry, on this one, see, man, see where it says NIBP, I, I missed that. There's man, see it says manual, so if you were to do have the cuff hooked up, that manual pressure would come up right there. I hope that helps make sense of those monitors and makes them a little less intimidating the next time you're in clinical. Follow for more nurse tips. I have a full, I have a podcast that walks through all the things that you can expect working in the hospital, um, lots of courses and all that. And you can get on my email list where I send out weekly tips and tricks and head to freshrn.com to get on my email list.